yes. What made you say yes to that hat? Well, first of all, working with uh, Regal, I've been a Regal baby since I started. And so, to be honest, it really is an honor for me to be working um, with Regal and Mr. Sal, Mother Lily, because, you know, they're a very established production company. And, you know, they've been here for so many years. And then the, the fact that they're here to support me and this, like, new venture, I'm just really, really grateful. Like, the fact that I can even call Mr. Sal and ask for advice and, like, randomly. So it's not even a matter of, like, what made me say yes, I absolutely would want to be part of actually anything with Regal. That's 100%. And um, aside from that is the story. I remember when I read the script, it was something that I was like, this is a bit risky. I said, it's a story that's never been like talked about, I believe. So ako, of course, we're always there to entertain, you know, when we release films, we're there to entertain, make people happy, but this one, we're here to spark a conversation. And that, for me, I was already blown away. Pero grabe nga yung mga outfits mo dito. Kanina yung papaka Fifty Shades of Grey na leather ako nakita rin na <laughs> yes. outfit eh. Trust me, when we were um, pabawas ng pabawas, pero kaya ba? Kaya ba? Hindi mo na yun, sige, tignan natin. No way! Pabawas ng pabawas, I was like, and then, I was like, sige, it's direct naman. That's right. the thing eh, you, you know, when the trust is there, right. like full trust, I just, <laughs> sorry to flash back sa akin. Yung scenes, but then anyway, see the deck is great because, of course, no una, it felt like a fashion show. Ooh, I love wearing this outfit. Nung tumagalan ng tumagal, sabi ko, direct, I feel, I feel, I don't feel comfortable, I feel violated somehow. Okay, takpan na natin si Lovie, takpan na natin siya. So may ganon, may mga moments that I get in. It's normal naman for actors. Right, right, right. Yeah, especially when shooting that scene. Yeah. I feel violated too. Jay, ano ba yung scene yun? Hindi ko na magkwento. Ako mo si spoil eh. Ako si spoil ba? Eh kanina yung mga kandong, yung mga ganun. Iba na agad, steaming, steaming na eh. But it's great. Kasi nga sabi ko, the sexiness part of the film is just tip of the iceberg. That's right. There's so much depth in this story. For sure. And everyone just did an amazing job. And thank you so much to them for bringing out the best. Okay, our next question is from June Lally of Abante. It's for Lovie. Yes. Ano ang reaction mo sa dulog ng tao sa All Out Mall show niyo itong weekend? Fisher Mall Malabon, SM Sangandaan, SM Pampanga, SM Clark, we saw the photo. Ayan, we're posting the photos right over here. Bukod pa yan sa mga cinema visits sa SM North, at Train Noma. How was that experience for you? Oh my God. Uh, as in, ang sarap ng pakiramdam to see everybody. Sa totoo lang, I was really nervous before doing um, our mall shows and our cinema visits kasi it's been a while. Siguro last time na ginawa ko po to was like pre-pandemic pa. So I was in, I was nervous and I did not expect, you know, yung, yung warmth. And you know, I'm just so grateful that everyone came to see us and uh, I, I pray it translate to, um, you know, them watching the film as well. Yes, on October 16. Okay, it's also for Lobby again from uh, Romel Gonzalez of PEP and Police Files tonight. Yes. Uh, you kind of touched on this kanina na, no? So, Say Lobby Productions is starting a production company and yes. nagkaroon tayo, or nagkaroon kayo ng collaboration agad with Regal, the longest active film production sa Pinas. Ano na feel mo dito? What made you venture into this role? And can you tell us who were your mentors? And what kind of producer are you? Wow. Okay, so um, what made me do this was actually, um, what sparked this is I've always loved uh, writing my own stories and concepts. And I remember it started both our film seasons with Rico. And then I came up with that concept and then suddenly um, it was just nice to, to be part of the process and then Biglang may script na kami, the, the cast na, and then everything just came together and then we were taken on by, by Netflix and I was just like, well, I can keep doing this because there are so many stories that I want to I wanna tell and showcase and eventually get into script writing. Of the script. Oh. Baka naman you can teach me, baka pwede ako mag-take my glasses sa'yo. But basically, that's what sparked it. And after 
afterwards, um, of course, my mentor is Miss Giselle because the fact that I can call her like anytime. Like, anytime. I mean, thank you, Miss Giselle. I, I, I'm really grateful. And my husband as well, since he produces films abroad. So he teaches me. Dang. Okay. Uh, before we call in Tessa Mauricio to ask her question personally tonight, uh, there's this question for James and Blake from My Convenience of Kapamilya Vines. Masasabi mo bang nakaka-intimidate ang magkagusto sa isang lawyer? Kasi may connotation na na-intimidate tayo sa mga ganong professional. Uh, I think at first, ganun yung impression. Nag-crush ka na ba sa isang lawyer? Ah, Nag-crush ka na ba sa isang lawyer? Ever? Uh, hindi pa. Hindi pa. Okay. Hindi pa. Pero I have some friends na who are lawyers. I okay. think it's just the, the first impression na uh, it's, it's their profession and we expect na lahat ng lawyers or majority of a lot of lawyers are really smart, they're very intelligent. So, ayun, syempre if you like a lawyer, may crush ka sa isang lawyer, syempre you have to be careful not to do something bad kasi syempre best for it. Oh, oh, they can do it. Oh, they can do it. Oh, they can do it. So, siguro yun yung first impression lang. Pero, I, I, I think you just got to get to, you just have to get to know the person. By any chance, by anyone in the cast na karoon ng crush or something with a lawyer? Wala naman? Ay, Dustin Cow! No way, go ahead. Alright. Uh Tessa, where are you? Go ahead, Tessa. Wait, we can add microphones at Tessa. She's that small, petite, beautiful girl right over there. I don't know, I don't know. microphone. There you go. Good evening to the sizzling cast and of course our director and our writer. Uh, nabati ko na po si Derek Bonnie kanina na napakaganda ng kanyang suot. It really exudes, you know, power for women, di ba? And it's, it's Filipiniana, but uh, you know, the look uh, really is, is very powerful. And I know Derek that it is important to you even when um, you know uh, directing sexy films you know, that, that show how uh, women um, you know in, in mga scenes like we saw earlier yung ano yung din, um, of course the dignity of, of the woman no? and of course yung uh, women power as, as I was saying earlier how were you able to balance this duty without any spoilers um, Napag-usapan natin ito ng story conference pala po nun, and you said that is what you will try to achieve. But how do you, how have you done it? What can we look forward to see that happen in this movie? Um, you know, we crafted this character together, all of us, most especially with Will Law. We had a you know, long discussions about how we're going to mount uh, the character of Alexis. And yung Filipino wear, for me, uh, I have, we, I research about uh, being lawyers and I interview judges and lawyers and I've observed and uh, stalked their IGs and I realize that very patriotic sila in the way that they will wear Filipino wear and that's also my advocacy so uh, it was like uh, but a second nature to incorporate this in the character of Alexis that she will wear something very Filipino because it um, tells another layer of story from the cultural communities who work on these um, items or on these weaves that we put in the outfits. Uh, it pushes forward our Filipino identity uh, without screaming for it, you know. Para she goes with her character as a lawyer, uh, upholding the law, uh, defending who needs defense, and putting, the right, putting things into the right perspective while using Filipino stuff for her home and for her uh, team in the Miranda office. How do we balance this? Uh, sex is a part of our lives, diba? So parang, parang ito lang, trabaho, sex, trabaho, sex, play, diba? So, balance. Work and play. No, work, <laughs> work and play. Work and play, kasi ano eh, babae to eh. Um, Gusto niyang marinig yung bosses niya, she wants her voice to be heard, but at the same time, she is a feminine woman who's nurturing, who's loving, who's gentle, but she knows what she wants. And that is what probably I want the women to recognize and see, that they see the strength in this character and see the strength in them as well as they watch the film. 
So, parang as women po, we shouldn't be embarrassed to show the world that, you know, we also have a right to pleasure as much as as, as, as men. Yes, and also ha, fashion in a way tells your culture too. And, and sa babae, for me personally, kung alam ko na um, I'm gonna be around people who will make a judgment of me, a-outfit ako. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever works for you as a woman, go for it. If it's wearing this, putting your hair in this way, heels, go for it. I mean, there's no one to tell you what, how you will express yourself. You're the one who's going to tell, this is how I want to express myself and this is my voice. All right. Thank you, Dessa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dessa. Uh, before we pass the microphone to June Lalin, we have a question here from Chad of Manila Feed for JM. Nakarelate ka ba sa concept of guilty pleasure in real life? What's your personal guilty pleasure? Parang ang personal na question yung Chad sa'yo, no? Siguro alam. Okay. Masarap. Pero... So, pag pag sumusobra, at wala na yung control. So, parang may reaction si Vicks dito. Nakagre-reaction sa sagot niya. Ano na, JM eh. We have June Lalim here, June! Labi, uh, congratulations, siyempre, sa um, saksi kami um, ang mga social media, the way na pagkaguluhan ka ng mga tao, diba? Nakakaproud. Uh, Labi, you're like your dad. Kasi sobrang puri sa inyo mga tao, sa mall show, sa, sa mga events ng guilty pleasure. Kasi kahit gano'n na nagmamadali, halos tinutulak na kayo ng mga security, pero pag may sumigaw, kaya naman pa-picture, sumigaw ka. Thanks, Tita June. I really, I try my best, you know, um, kung pwede ko pagbibigyan lahat na gawin ko, to be honest. Because I'm a fan myself, and, um, you know, I know how it feels to want to see someone, and I just can't believe I'm in that position, to be honest, that I'm the one walking down there, and people want to do, to take photos with me. Sometimes I still can't believe it. And that's why, I guess, it's, it's a simple way of giving back that support, you know. It's a bagay na bag to make someone happy. And I can't believe that I'm going to do it. So I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm grateful. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I think I met you when, um, nung 15 ka pa lang. Yes. And uh, you're still the same lobby po. Uh, nung nag penetrate mo ang Hollywood, uh, ako mismo, even uh, I'm really close to you, nisip ko, ano kaya magpagkaroon kay Lani? Uh, magiging katulad kaya siya ng mga Halloween stories na hindi basta-basta pwedeng nabita. But uh, even in the States, uh, uh, yung best time yung kasama, talagang ikaw yung nag-invite sa akin to see you and Monty. Wal ko lang pagbabago. So, uh, uh, lalo kami naging proud sa iyo na even na uh, Nung una, siyempre nakakatawat, ha, ilalayo mo siya ng Hollywood sa atin. Pero, etong ugali mo, hindi ka nagbabago, uh, parang walang pagbabago na. Uh, mas, parang, mas na-reach ka pa, di ba? So, uh, sobrang pag-ear. Uh, uh, Thank so, you. Yeah, I'd like to congratulate you lang. Okay, Thank you so much. Alam mo, pinag-attach ako na yung uh, assistant mo, uh, talagang gumawa ka ng paraan para madalang, uh, hindi ko lang yung iba, gumawa ka talaga ng paraan kasi hindi siya naka-join sa wedding mo sa UK nung tayo, di ba? Pero gumawa ka para may isama mo siya. So, with that, I'd like to congratulate you. And dapat palakpakan po natin lahat si Lavi sa pagiging song na nabayin na hindi nang gumawin. Kaya, kami, remember, my host, full support sa'yo sa Hollywood career mo. And of 
course, on the 16th, sa guilty pleasure, lobby, nagpa-schedule ako ng uh, uh, black screening for the rest of the Wow! Ito support ko sa'yo kasi nakita ko the way ng pagmamahal mo. Uh, um, nag, ano ka pa, gumawa ka pa ng production company, Stella B Productions, yes. para maka makatulong sa mga taga-industriya sa local movie industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. So alam namin, kahit lumaki ka pang Hollywood star, mm -hmm. uh, hindi mo iiwanan ng Pilipinas ang Philippine showbiz industry. Thank you so yeah. much. We love you. We love you. Thank you. I love you so much. No, I'm truly grateful for everyone around me. To be honest, parang, um, us actors, we really are no one without our support system around us. And so, I see the pa, like our managers, our you know directors, everyone is like, lahat yan parang tumutulong. It's like a step, you know, for everyone to reach our goals. So, I'm grateful to everyone, everyone here, that I'm everyone yeah. easy to do. Thank you so much because I appreciate you all. That's just, I'm after the CC, but the mga kasama mo to 